Okay, so one aspect of the SN1, SN2 mechanism that comes up again in year 13 is to do with rates. Now, this is a clear way of showing that the two mechanisms are different because the rate of reaction is affected by different numbers of molecules. So in an SN1 reaction, there is only one molecule involved in the rate determining step, whereas in an SN2 reaction, there are two molecules in the rate determining step. So we start with SN1. Okay, as we've said, the OH- cannot attack because it's sterically hindered, so we have to wait for the Cl to drop off. That means that if we added more and more OH-, it would have no effect on the overall rate of reaction, because even if we had lots of this, we're waiting for these Cls to break off. So it is this step, this initial step here, that determines the, uh, how fast the reaction is going to go. So this step is referred to as the rate determining step. So if we increase the concentration of the halogen arcane, there will be an effect on rate. But if we increase the concentration of the nucleophile, in this case the OH-, it will have no effect whatsoever. So we say there is one molecule involved in the rate determining step. Over with the SN2, we're going to have two molecules involved in the rate determining step. This is because the OH- can attack directly to the carbon. We don't have to wait for the chlorine to fall off. So if we increase the concentration of OH-, more of them can attack the halogen arcanes, if we increase the concentration of the halogen arcane, more can be attacked by the OH-. So just to recap, SN1, because we've got one molecule involved in the rate determining step. SN2, because there are two molecules involved in the rate determining step. The OH- and the halogen arcane.